Hey, good evening. Usually I do these little videos in the morning, but lately since the mailman's been getting here earlier, I've been wanting to make sure I get all the packages out. So I figured I'd just do it at nighttime. It's actually pretty late. It's going on 1 o'clock. But I'm kind of a night owl anyway. A lot of you folks may not know, but I spent 15 years in the security industry, so I did a whole lot of late nights. So this is really nothing to me. And also, I've decided I might be a little bit naughty and go thrifting after all tomorrow. I might even ride around and see if I can't find some garage sales. So I've already sold eight items today. Sales have been pretty good for me lately. I just keep listing. I've been listing every day, just throwing some stuff up. And I'm not sure what's going on, but everybody talks about the algorithm. I don't really know much about that kind of stuff. I hear a lot of people talking about it, but it could be that it's helping me out. So I've been selling like seven or eight items a day, like for the last four or five days. I typically sell at least a few items every day. So let's show what I sold today. We've got this Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Mop Head Refill. I picked that up for a buck or two at the Salvation Army. It sold for $11.04 with free shipping. I got these two Camelbacks a while back. I think I paid about 50 cents or a dollar a piece. And they sat around for a very, very long time. But they eventually sold for $12.75 free shipping. I bought two of these puzzles over at the Salvation Army a couple weeks ago. I think I paid $3.40 a piece for them. I've already sold one and this one just sold. This item sold for $16.99 plus shipping. This guy right here is already boxed up, ready to go. It was probably about a month or two ago I picked up this American Harvest Nesco Jetstream oven. The buyer actually got a really smoking deal on this. This is probably a $150 oven, but they got it for $106.21 on sale. And they paid $26.47. I got this at the More Than a Thrift for $10. And then I picked up this Butterfly Yarn Organizer. I think I paid like 3 or 4 bucks for this at the Salvation Army. This was not a cheap one. But it sold for $12.74, so there's a couple dollars profit. This was a pretty long tail item. They're Scooby-Doo stickers, and you can put them on your door or your wall or whatever. I had these for a long time. They sold for the Get Them the Hell Out of Here price of $7.64. And then I picked up this Canon 34-inch length chain. I think I got this over the Salvation Army for $2 minus discount. And it sold for $11.89 with free shipping. And then the last item we sold was this West Bend Stir Crazy Popcorn Machine. This sold on sale for $16.99, plus the buyer paid $26.73 shipping. With this Nesco and West Bend, I'm going to have to use FedEx to get the best price. So that's kind of the reason I'm thinking I might need to go out to the thrift store tomorrow. Because if I go all the way out to the FedEx store, it would be just wrong to not go thrifting while you're already out that way. But anywho, I'm going to go pack this stuff up, and then I'm probably going to go pass out. We'll talk to you guys manana. Hey, what's going on? I hope you guys are doing well today. My friend Tom called me today and said he went to an auction this morning and he got a bunch of great stuff. He said they're doing like fill bags and stuff for real cheap, so I'm going to go out there and see what they got. I might be able to find a whole bunch of stuff real cheap. So let's go see if we can find some of them nuggets. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm over here at the photo table. It has been a fantastic day. The last time we talked, I was on my way to the auction that Tom told me about. And I'm very glad that I went because I found quite a bit of stuff. Some of the stuff in the back there is uh, some of the items that I found yesterday. And it was quality stuff. And that's not even all of it. I couldn't fit it all on here. I decided this was so good that I wanted to go ahead and do a little haul video. I gotta say, my buddy Tom really came through today. He gave me some good intel that I acted on. And I'm going to come out big time ahead. So this is basically a really big auction. And I guess every now and again they have like a yard sale. And pretty much you just buy stuff and they give you a price like if it was a regular garage sale. And I believe this is all like estate auctions that they buy. Uh, you know, people don't want to have an estate sale and just box everything up. And uh, this company buys it and they just sell it. I guess usually they'll just sell it at auction and then have like you know days where they just have sales just come in and it will make you a cheap price and it's a good price like if you were going to a garage sale so I did have to pay up a little bit but I think the stuff is high enough quality where it's okay I found five bottles of this blood sugar optimizer 
Yeah, I just found five of these and I just kind of threw them in a box. And it looks like they're doing okay. One sold for $28.99 recently. So I should do okay with those. They have like six or seven bottles of these Oceans Alive 2.0 Marine. They sell for like 40 bucks a bottle. But I looked on a bottle and they were like three years expired. So I didn't feel comfortable with them. I picked up this pair of shoes. I think they're like winter shoes. They've got some funky bottoms, so I think they like attach to snowboards or something. I went ahead, they look like they're in pretty good condition, and I just went ahead and threw them in a box. And I looked them up on eBay, and it looks like they're selling for about 50 bucks plus shipping. So I decided just to uh, make this part of the lot. I got this black Wii over there, and it came with the uh, power cable and the sensor bar. I don't think it came with the AV cables, but I believe I have some somewhere. I take that back, I just found the AV cables. I found these two printer cartridges. They're uh, genuine HP. They're 564 XLs. And I can probably get 10 to 15 bucks for the two of these. I found this TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculator. And it appears to be in pretty good working condition. It does have some writing on the back. I might try to see if I can get that off with alcohol. I did notice that it had some blotching, and this will take away from the value a little bit, but as long as it's in good working condition, I could probably get about 30 40 bucks for this. I picked up these two Wii games. One's a My Sims, and one is Endless Ocean. And I think these sell for between 8 and 12 bucks a piece. This actually came from Tom today. I traded him a couple things for those golf clubs that I picked up yesterday for him. Uh, one thing I got was this Sun 600 camera. Uh, I'm not sure if it works or not, but I usually get 12 to 15 dollars for these. I used to get a lot of money for these, but I used to get 28 dollars shipped uh, by a company they used to buy them called Retrospect, but they don't buy uh, many cameras anymore. But I think there are a few camera models that they do buy still. I also got this uh, Wii uh, remote from Tom. But I looked in the um, inside of it. I think this thing may not be good. And uh, this has got some pretty bad corrosion in there too. Uh, I may be able to get it out. I'm not sure. I'll give it a shot. I was going to try to lot it up with that weed that I got. But if not, I'll just wait till I find another controller. It's really no big deal. Since Tom went to the uh, yard sale today before me, he actually found this item right here. And it's some kind of Quasinart thing. And we believe it's still brand new in the package. Okay, so what I believe it is, is this Quasinart Pistol Vacuum Sealer. It looks like they're selling for about $40. Now, this is probably going to have to be sold as uh, pre-owned, too, because it doesn't have the box. I really don't know. But I think I can take some nice photos of this and probably get like 40 or 50 bucks for it. I got these two power cables. They go to, like, cookers, like a West Bend cooker. I just went ahead and threw them in a box. I've sold things like this for, like, 10 15 bucks before and I'm not really sure if they work but I'll see if I can plug them in and see what happens I picked up this nice Logitech pair of headphones and it's actually a microphone as well and you just plug those cables into your computer and you can just talk on these things listen and talk well, I'm not sure how much they're worth but I just kinda of threw them in a box this is a really nice like military type satchel it's made by a company called Maxpedition it just looks like it's pretty high quality nice looking bag it looks like they sell for decent money in pre-owned condition. I think this is the one that I have right here. Uh, this one sold April 4th for $69.97 plus shipping. So I'm thinking I can probably get about $70 bucks for this bag. It's in very good condition. I also threw this little doodad in the box. I really don't know what it is exactly. It's called a Willow Curve. I think it's some kind of lasery thing. I looked everywhere. There was supposed to be some stuff that came with it. There was supposed to be like a power cable and some kind of strap. This is the only thing that I could find. This place was kind of like a rummage sale. Have you guys ever been to like a rummage sale where you go in and there's just, just tons and tons of totes and boxes and you just look through it? And that's kind of what this place was. Just like a big rummage sale with rooms and rooms full of stuff. Kind of like a big auction warehouse, but nothing but stuff that hasn't been picked over and it was just freaking awesome but I found that sitting in some box somewhere and I just threw it in my box I'm not really sure how much I'll get for it but maybe I can get 50 bucks for it um, somebody sold like a complete one for 150 uh, somebody sold just the regular old thing for $94 you know it looks like they sell for pretty good money but you know like I said mine's not complete or anything 
It once sold for $150. You know, I might just take it and put it as is. I just don't know yet. And we shall have to see. I found this bike beam and I just threw it in the box. I think it's some kind of like bike rack. It may be new, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to probably end up selling it as used just because it looks kind of beat up. Looks like they're selling for about 30 bucks plus shipping. I got this uh, Right Light Wireless LED uh, Picture Light. It's brand new, sealed in the original packaging. Looks like one recently sold for $34.21 free shipping. I also threw this Anna Griffin Cuddle Bug in there. And I'm not really sure if it works or not. I don't know anything about it. I just wanted to throw it in the box. And it looks like they sell brand new for about $150. It looks like a used one sold for 71 so I'm not really sure how it works or anything, so i got to kind of test it out and do a little bit more research, but I just threw it in the box. I picked up this pack of socks by 3M, and it looks like this particular model sells for about $12 free shipping. I also found this item in one of those many, many boxes of miscellaneous random stuff, and it's called a New Face, and it looks just like this. It has some kind of cream. I think you put batteries in it. I don't see a power cable, so I'm not sure, you know, what's up with that. Maybe I'll need to get a power cable. Here's one that sold for 95 but it has the power cable. All right, so this definitely doesn't have the power cable. I'm going to check around and see if I have any power cables that may fit it. I also found this Big Ben Moonbeam clock. And the only reason I know about this clock is because I've actually sold it in the past to once. And they do really well. This particular one sold recently for... $39 plus shipping. When I saw it, I just threw it in the box. I also found this replacement blade. It looks pretty heavy duty. It looks like it might be for like a really big food processor. Uh, stuff like this usually can sell for $20, $25. I just saw it and threw it in the box. One of the first things I saw when I got there was this really nice 100 megabyte zip drive. I've sold these several times in the past. So I know they can actually do pretty well even in pre-owned condition. And this thing looked pretty minty on the inside. So we'll just have to see. I think this is a really good find today, guys. This is what's called a Vitamix blender. I saw this stuff. I didn't ask any questions. And I just went ahead and threw it in the box. Unfortunately, there was no cover. And I don't know if there just wasn't a cover anywhere around or if it was just crammed in one of the 237 million other boxes of stuff they had but I just went ahead and just grabbed what I could now if this thing was complete I could sell this for over four hundred and fifty dollars but it looks like the base which is what I have the 7500 uh, is selling for about hundred and ninety five dollars plus shipping this particular one is white though and I don't think that'll make a difference and I don't think it will because uh, this one sold for a best offer from 199 plus shipping so this should be good just selling this on its own I'm not actually sure how much the pitcher is selling for I haven't seen any comps I might just like ask 250 plus shipping and just throw both of them in I also saw that guy too and that just went right in the box and it looks like that one sells for about $200 plus shipping and I believe that's the end of the stuff that I found today when I brought the stuff up to the guy um, I had to wait around a little bit because he was helping people move furniture. I wanted to get a good price. Basically, I just pulled out all of the cash I had in my wallet, which was $58. And he started looking through all this stuff. And he said, throw me out of price. What do you think? I said, $58. He said, oh, right. I'm easy to get along with. But unfortunately, some of the stuff belonged to somebody else, too. And they said, how about 10 bucks for this? And I didn't realize it was going to be two different people. I had given all my money to this guy. And the other guy, I didn't have any money to give him. What I ended up doing is going out to my van and counting $10 in quarters, and I brought it back to him. So I ended up spending a total of 68 bucks for everything. So I want you guys to let me know, did I overpay or did I get a good deal? Just let me know down in the comment section. My buddy Tom's been going to this place for years, and he knows how to get a good deal. And he thinks I probably could have got this stuff for like 40 Just say, how about 20 bucks? And the guy's like, ah, I can't go that low. I was hoping to get 40. Say, I can't do 40. I'll tell you what, I give you 25. And that's how Tom Dicker's over at uh, the garage sales and stuff, and, and usually is pretty good at it. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I've got quite a bit of work to do this weekend. So I'm going to get off here and get started on it, and I'll talk to you guys later. And you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend.
with that box blender. I had that over in the corner with my box of items and I saw a guy come in and he stood right in front of my box and started looking in there and then he started getting handsy with the blender so I had to walk over to him and just let him know hey guy that's my stuff I just kind of set it over there for uh, safekeeping and he was like oh okay so he was cool you know but that pretty much happens to me all the time and another thing a lady set some nice jeans down and somebody walked off with them so this is a very important tip for you guys when you're at a garage sale watch your stuff I couldn't be more serious people will take your stuff if you've got a little pile going off to the side make sure you're keeping your eyes on it that stuff will disappear anyway that was your pro tip of the week you guys have a great night